course, before I begin, I want to say that we're still monitoring the situation in Saskatchewan. It's important that everyone continue to follow the instructions from local authorities. The federal government is working closely with the community leadership and with the province. We need to make sure that everyone stays safe, that we resolve this as quickly as possible. I spoke with uh, chiefs a couple of days ago. I spoke with um, yesterday, I spoke with the Premier. Uh, we're going to continue to be there uh, while people grieve, while people heal, uh, but right now while they are also very fearful. All Canadians stand with people of Saskatchewan at this time. But of course, today it is so good to be back home in BC, a place that has always meant so much to me. I have so many good memories of my time here, the number of times I've crossed this bridge uh, without. Uh, realizing the gem and the opportunity uh, that uh, we're about to be launching today. I know this is uh, something that is going to have a huge positive impact on so many levels uh, and being able to be here today to be part of this announcement is truly a highlight for me. This positive announcement with the Squamish Nation will have a real impact on the people who live in Vancouver. Because everyone should have a safe and affordable place to call home. When I speak with Canadians across the country, housing availability and pricing remain one of the primary concerns. Alors, si on veut créer plus de loge, uh, si on veut créer du logement plus abordable au Canada, faut augmenter l'offre de logement. To increase housing supply, our government has laid out a multi-layered plan to double our housing construction over the next decade. With the Housing Accelerator Fund, we'll incentivize municipalities to remove barriers and build housing more quickly. With the Affordable Housing Innovation Fund, we're investing to encourage people to think outside the box as they come up with projects that'll change the housing industry, like a number of rent-to-own projects that we're moving forward on. And of course, with the Rapid Housing Initiative, we're building new affordable units extremely quickly and converting existing buildings to create housing for vulnerable populations that need them now, not a few years from now. These are only a few examples, and of course, there's much more work to be done. What gathers us here today is yet another stream of work this, this government has set up which is the Rental Construction Financing Initiative, which is designed to accelerate and incentivize the creation of mid-market rental housing to take the edge off of the supply challenges that so many people are facing as they're trying to get into the market. Particularly for rentals, renters here in Vancouver, it's tough to find a place. The rental mar market vacancy rate is very low. We need to work together to provide more housing options for people, and that's what brings us here today. Through the RCFI, we'll provide a loan to build close to 3,000 homes as part of the Sinoc project here in Kitsilano in collaboration with the Squamish Nation. The travaux de construction ont déjà commencé pour le projet Sinoc. Son architecture et son style vont laisser un héritage culturel, culturel durable à la Nation des Squamish et au Canada. This housing building will be on land that has been reclaimed by the Squamish Nation after having been expropriated more than 100 years ago. Sanok will be operated and owned by the Squamish Nation and will meant, welcome members of the community, Indigenous and non-Indigenous. This project is the largest First Nations economic partnership in Canadian history. Initiatives like these are reconciliation in action. And I know that Ministers Miller and Haidu and our whole team agree that it's part of our vision for a better future for everyone. We're also very pleased to say that Sanok aims to be Canada's first large-scale net zero housing development. Le fait qu'un projet d'une telle envergure peut être carboneutre montre que la conception durable n'est pas un luxe, mais la nouvelle norme. C'est un projet qui va servir de modèle pour l'avenir. And I want to thank particularly Minister Wilkinson, who's been working very closely with partners towards this ambitious goal. 
La priorité de notre gouvernement, c'est de livrer les résultats concrets pour les Canadiens. Today, we're building more homes for Vancouverites. At the same time, we're partnering with the Squamish Nation on its path to continued economic independence and self-determination. And we're designing a green, house, a green housing that will serve as a blueprint for the future. In other words, when everyone works together to accomplish multiple goals, everybody wins. So I want to again thank members of the Squamish Nation for making this possible. I also, also want to thank West Bank Corp, Ian, good to see you here today, and OP Trust. When we all work together as partners, federal and Indigenous governments, private sector, local communities, we innovate and we find solutions to the challenges we face. Let us continue working together. Let's continue making Canada a better place. Avant de terminer, je veux souligner la nouvelle de ce matin comme quoi Santé Canada a approuvé la demande d'Emma Québec d'éliminer la période d'exclusion de trois mois pour tous les hommes ayant des relations sexuelles avec d'autres hommes. Comme la Société canadienne du sang l'avait annoncé en avril, Emma Québec va aussi adopter une approche de sélection des donneurs basée sur le comportement sexuel, indépendamment de l'identité de genre ou de l'orientation sexuelle. En 2015, on avait promis d'en finir avec l'interdiction discriminatoire de donner du sang pour les hommes ayant des relations sexuelles avec d'autres hommes. Depuis, notre gouvernement a investi dans plusieurs projets de recherche pour en arriver à la décision d'aujourd'hui et celle d'avril dernier. C'est un pas de plus dans la bonne direction que tous les Canadiens puissent donner du sang de manière sécuritaire, sans discrimination. C'est une bonne nouvelle pour tout le monde. As we work every day to build a better, more inclusive Canada in which every Canadian has a real and, chair, and fair chance to succeed. Partnerships like this, initiatives like this will make a real, real difference.